In this video, I will share with you three reasons why you should always use a landing pad. Believe it or not, a landing pad can save you a lot of heartaches, headaches, and money. Let's get started. Reason number one, you want a solid surface for your drone to take off from and to land. It's important that you protect the drone's body, the motors, and the camera, especially the gimbal. You do not want dirt in that gimbal. Certain surfaces, such as snow and water, also throw off the bottom sensor when trying to return to home and land. Even when the surface looks nice and flat, I still recommend a landing pad, especially with the DJI Mini 2. The reason why is the very low ground to drone clearance. There's really no legs on this drone. And that's why I've added these extenders, which come in handy. What if you have an emergency landing and you don't have a nice flat, even surface and you especially don't have a landing pad because you can't get back home? These leg extenders are lifesavers. Reason number two, it's just that much easier to see a landing pad from up in the sky. So whether you're in a familiar area that you've been to a thousand times or somewhere you've rarely been or never been before, a landing pad is a must. Now mine has orange on one side and blue on the other. So depending on my surroundings, I choose a specific color that stands out for me. So in the snow, I use orange. Whether it's sand, dirt, or mud, I use blue. A blacktop parking lot, either one, orange or blue. Grass, same thing, orange or blue works really good. Reason number three, hey, I'm flying here. All right, so a landing pad is just gonna make it a little bit easier and clearer to others that are walking around you that you are in the area. Now I always add orange cones around my landing pad just because landing pads are flat and hard to see in general. So the visibility of the cones will help keep others from accidentally walking right through. Now I suggest you are also standing next to your cones and the landing pad to monitor the area during takeoff and landing. Remember, safety first. I have a quick tip for you. Do not settle for a dinky small landing pad. You'll regret it, I promise. My recommendation is to get a landing pad that is at least one and a half times the diagonal wingspan of your drone, whichever model drone you have. Now I measured the DJI Mini 2 from the top left to the back right, and I got that wingspan measurement of 13 inches. Now this landing pad that I have from Star Trek diagonally is 27 inches, so it's double the wingspan of the DJI Mini 2, which is perfect. Now this pad, if you're looking for a similar one online, measures square, 20 inches by 20 inches, or 50 centimeters by 50 centimeters. I also use this landing pad for my Air 2S, which is definitely bigger than the, than the Mini 2, and it works out really good. It's also waterproof and easy to keep clean for each use. Having a landing pad makes a whole lot of sense. At least I hope it does now. It's always better to be over-prepared rather than to not be prepared at all. If you have any questions, ideas for future videos that you would like to see or would like to just share your thoughts, please leave them in the comments down below. Now, if you wish to stick around in the next video, I will share with you the pros and the cons of using a hard landing pad versus a soft landing pad.